let me ask you a question. What's up? Where do you think trans movement goes from here? Where do you think it takes everything? Because I already made my prediction. I mean, I think that this is going to cause major problems, but where do you feel like it goes from here? I don't think that it ends in a positive place. And I, I think it's gotten so far that you have actually strong men who have this ideology and it's going to be some type of political and social conflict that's going to happen to destroy this movement or it's going to destroy this nation. I agree wholeheartedly. I believe that we've gotten to a, a bump in the road here. We're going to see trans women beat up. We're, we're going to see trans women beat up real women. And then when we see trans women beat up real women, real men are going to step in and be like, hey, 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 this is not okay. And then all of a sudden, we got chaos and mayhem. I heard Javon Clark say this, and it's very true. Women, the way to really defend against this is to go natural again. Take the lashes off. Take the wig off. Let them brute breast hang. Like, you ain't got to get the BBL. The BBL, you looking like them. I mean, you could just cut that stuff out and be a nat because they cannot duplicate a natural woman. You know who's... The problem is people like Dwight Howard, big freaky ass dudes <laughs> who sit here and just want to be nasty. Now, wait a minute. He said it ain't. He said none of that. Okay, uh, here it is. Do you think Dwight Howard is being honest when he says none of that stuff is true? Not at all. Man, like he anybody who is so, he came in a uh, Christian family. I'm a Christian promoting Christian ideology. Right. Next thing you know, you got six baby mamas. When you got, when you have that little bit of self-discipline, you're just a deviant person. You'll do whatever, however, whenever. And that's where he is right now. And men like that are just allowing this perverse culture to destroy us. Like, I like to have a lot of women. And I don't think it's a good idea for me to just fuck every woman that I can fuck. I think that's irresponsible. I agree. And I, I talked about the ladies in body count. But, I mean, I think the same thing with men in body count. You cannot, to have sex irresponsibly um, with so many people is detrimental not only to yourself, but to society. It is on so many different levels. It's just not the responsible thing to do. So we do definitely in this country, I think right now, preach a very promiscuous society. Like you have to slut walk and things like that. Like we really um, push for this highly sexually uh, active community and society. There are so many people who are in economic bondage that since you cannot express yourself economically or politically, the only outlet that you have is your sexuality. That's your only freedom in America because you're so financially oppressed. You say, hey, look, I can do whatever I want, but you can't do anything you want. <laughs> you, you can't do whatever you want. 